Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the Sir Alex Ferguson Challenge with Sheffield United. In today's episode we're going to face Leicester City and Burnley in the Premier League. But of course we've got some fixtures to review since the last time we met. So following on from the victory against Fulham was a home tie against Manchester United which, which we actually managed to draw 2-2. Two, two. We went in front from a goal from Luca Pellegrini. Bruno Fernandes equalised quickly after that. Jean-Pierre own goal gave Manchester United the lead but John Fleck equalised in the 40th minute and we got away with a point against one of the best sides in the league. Next up was an away draw against West Ham, a pretty tight game. They did have the better of the opportunities but as you can see they weren't really clinical once they got into the areas to have a shot. Uh, so this, this game could have went either way to be honest. If we nicked a goal I couldn't see West Ham scoring but a point will take it. We then played Chelsea in the League Cup fourth round, which was the board's minimum expectation, and we got absolutely smashed 4-0. Tammy Abraham with a double, Mason Mount with one, and Kurzuma with the other. The reason that happened was Oliver Norwood got sent off in the second minute. We played the entirety of this match with 10 men, and we didn't make any sort of fight with it. And finally, another, another absolutely crazy result, really, a 1-1 home draw against Arsenal. Lacazette had put them in front 16 minutes in, but Esposito equalised. I think that's his second league goal in like 11 games or something. So he's he's getting there. He's starting. Um, but yeah, he got the goal. That gave us the point. And that sees the Premier League table looking like this. We're currently sitting in 8th position. Uh, played 11, won 4, drawn 5. Only lost 2 games so far, which is absolutely fantastic. 17 points. Um, that's not too bad at all. For the first game in today's episode will be against Leicester. They are the side sitting just above us in 7th position. Only 2 points ahead of us. And then we've got Burnley away who are sitting in 19th in the league. The bad thing about uh, particularly these two games is a lot of our first team players are currently injured. And by a lot I mean two key players. John Fleck in the centre of midfield and Baldock on that right wing back row. Both injured, both really key players. Particularly Baldock. He's been pretty much our best player so far this season. So we'll have to rely on our deputies. So this is how we're going to start with. Jack Butlin in goal. Kerr, Onjean and O'Connell in the defence. Kieran Freeman is going to start in that right wing back role. We're not seeing too much of him. Purely because Baldock's so good. And Pellegrini will be our left wing back. Jean-Pierre drops in at the centre midfield role. Partnering Oliver Norwood. And Luke Freeman comes in in the attacker midfield role. You remember him from last season. He did pretty well in that position. Oliver McBurney and Esposito will lead the line. So they come at us with a 4-1-2-3. Olivier Giroud up front. Interesting. Uh, Schneidlin in a defensive midfield. Otherwise it's pretty much a pretty similar side to what you would imagine Leicester would have at this point in the save. Uh, they're obviously doing pretty well as well. Close to the European spot. So it's going to be a tough game. Let's see how we get on. First highlight of the game. Eight minutes in and it's us on the ball. McFreeman with a beautiful ball down to McBurney on the right hand side. It comes back out to Freeman. Gets the ball in Luca Pellegrini's back post. And he puts the header at the far post just wide. Nearly, nearly putting us 1-0 up. 14 minutes in now and Leicester on the attack. But Pellegrini manages to nip in and get the ball. And he sets away Esposito who's in behind now. He's one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and a great save by Kasper Schmeichel. The opening 20 minutes or so have been pretty positive for us so far. But there is another highlight and it's Leicester who are in possession. Pellegrini cuts out a switch of the ball and he switches it himself to Freeman on this right hand side. He's, oh what a ball in that was and Esposito goes close with a header, skims the top of the bar. 10 minutes or so to go in this first half and we have another highlight. Once again it's Leicester currently in possession. Try to switch the play again, we managed to cut it out but it falls to Ndidi. Possessions went backwards and forwards a little bit and we finally come away with it with Luca Pellegrini on the left hand side. He's brought down by Hatterboa and surely that is a penalty. Penalty review VR and it's been given who's stepping up. It's Jean-Pierre who is stepping up to take it for Sheffield United. Please put us in front Jean-Pierre. We know you can do it and he does. He puts it down the left hand side. Beats Kasper Schmeichel for his fifth goal of the season. Playing in centre midfield today. Getting himself a goal from the penalty spot. I think we've very much deserved that. We've definitely been the better of the two sides. Uh, pretty much all the highlights gone our way so far. Let's see if it can hold out for till half time at the very least with a 1 0 lead. We'll pick up with this highlight here. We've kept a nice little bit of possession in the midfield. And O'Connell finds Pellegrini on this left hand side and whips the ball in. Freeman's there back post and he hits the bar. And now we have it a really, really, really good first half by us. Uh, going in 1 0 up. 
hopefully we might be able to put some more of our chances away. We've had a good couple of crossing opportunities with our wing backs. Uh, but uh, I'm happy with how things are going. Another highlight now, a free kick from us, from Freeman. Plays it in Kira's there. And he goes over the top as well. Madison with a free kick for Leicester. Plays it in back post. Oh my god, hits the post. I thought that was going in. It's back in by Madison. It's not cleared yet. Come on, boy, Jean Pierre, get there. Thankfully, we survive the Leicester attack there. 15 minutes to go in this match. We'll look to make some subs. We'll get Kieran Freeman off or Chris Basham who can play in that role. Uh, we'll have to get a look at Pellegrini off for Ender Stevens as well. Our wing backs constantly being the most tired players on the team. Pick up with this highlight here Oliver Norwood with the ball over the top for Esposito. He finds Pellegrini, finds Freeman in the box, and surely that is not offside. Please don't say. I don't think it is. And Luke Freeman's first goal of the season, starting in tap midfield for the first time, gets the goal to put us 2 0 up with only 15 minutes remaining. Decent bit of play by Esposito here to bring the ball down. Pellegrini with an absolutely lovely through ball. And Freeman makes no mistake from the six-yard line and puts us 2-0 up. Only five minutes to go in the match. There is another highlight. We managed to pinch the ball from a Leicester free kick. Give them it back and win it back and give them it back and win it back. And Esposito now gets on the ball. Switches the player absolutely beautifully to Chris Basham. Probably hasn't got the crossing ability, but he finds Stevens at the back post. And I just said he didn't have the crossing ability. Of course he does. I never meant to doubt you, Chris. Absolutely fantastic cross to the back post. Ender Stevens coming on as well and getting himself his third goal. Third goal of the season. He doesn't even start. I mean, he pretty much plays every game because Luca Pellegrini's tired. But the fact that he's getting three goals already is pretty special. There's another highlight straight from kickoff. Olivier Giroud's managed to beat the line. And Jack Butland, what a save that was. Only three minutes to go in this match, and that is going to be everything. Sheffield United 3, Leicester 0. That is an absolutely fantastic, fantastic result. We haven't won uh, in the league for three matches, so to get that sort of result against a side so close to us in the league is absolutely massive. And as you can see, that victory takes us up to sixth place in the Premier League. 20 points after 12 games. Absolutely fantastic start. Let's get to the Burnley game. So we're back for the Burnley game. The only changes to the starting 11 for today's side. Basham comes in for the suspended carer at centre-back. And I think that's pretty much it. Yep, everything else is the same. Let's get into the game. So Burnley, predictably, playing the 4-4-2. <clears throat> pretty similar side to what you would imagine. Pedro Neto, though, is a little bit different. Uh, only 20 years old. He looks like a pretty fantastic player. Classed as a wonder kid. Where, where did they get him? 19.5 million from Wolves. Interesting. We are away from home today against Burnley, so that might be it'll make things a little bit more difficult. The second bottom in the league, but we're not one of them teams who's guaranteed to start smashing teams who are near the bottom of the league, you know. We just had a great result against Leicester, but being away from home, I'm, I'm hoping for a point. That's what I'm hoping for. Is Oliver Norwood. Oh my God. What a free kick that was, my son. Take a bow second goal of the season absolutely unbelievable strike he's from easily 30 yards and that is pretty special nothing the keeper can do about that we go one nil up i hope the board had taken notice of us using set pieces by the way another highlight now our attack down the left hand side here jean pierre and luca pellegrini playing backwards and forwards it comes out of pellegrini once again who gives the ball away and burnley can maybe break now with dwight mcnail maybe not and we carry the ball forward once again. Jean-Pierre switches the player to Freeman on the right-hand side. Who switches the player to Pellegrini. Seems to happen a lot in Football Manager 2020. Free. Oh my God. 2-0. Kieran Freeman's first goal of the season. The wing-backs love to combine with each other. Even though they're on the opposite sides of the pitch. But I'm not going to complain because it's absolutely working for us. As you can see here. Freeman switches the player to Pellegrini. Who switches the player back to Freeman. Who gets his head on it. It's an absolutely fantastic header. Puts it in the far post and the keeper cannot do anything about that. Another highlight now. Pellegrini with a long ball over the top. Nespacit was in behind one on one. And of course he can't finish a great save by the keeper. Another highlight now. Burnley with the ball over the top. Butland claims. Let's see where it goes from here. Ball's played over the top once again by Burnley. Pedro Neto is there. And um, what an absolute strike that was. But it looks like it might be offside. Please be offside. It's been called for a goal review VAR and it has been given offside. That was a hell of a strike. But we survived till half-time. Burnley nil, Sheffield United 2. Absolutely fantastic stuff by us. 
if we can hold out for the rest of this game getting six points out of six once again in another episode will be absolutely brilliant highlight now Burnley on the attack with Goodmanson but they give the ball away Oliver Norwood manages to pinch it and Esposito coming down the left hand side for us he, he's held up a little bit and he gets dispossessed and Gibson can play the ball over the top but no Pedro Neto's got a strike on him he's brought it down brilliantly Jack Butland comes for it and doesn't quite get it but thankfully the ball goes out of play for a goal kick with only 20 minutes to go, we'll look to make a sub. Kieran Freeman's really struggling out there. We're going to get Ender Stevens, our backup left wing back on for him, purely because we've got no other options. George Baldock is still injured for today's game. And with 12 minutes to go, there is another highlight. McBurney with an absolutely great turn there to take it away from his man, Luca Pellegrini. gets the ball from him. He's in the box. He goes for goal a little bit silly. Maybe if he stopped the play a little bit and let our players catch up. He might have been able to find someone in the box. But with only seven minutes remaining, we'll look to make some more subs. We'll get Lundstrom on for or cut, uh, Oliver Norwood. And I think that's going to be all, all we're going to do. Luke Freeman carries the ball forward in the centre, finds McBurney with a... Is that a great pass? It is a great pass to Luca Pellegrini. On the left-hand side, the ball's played in. Stevens is there, back post. The wing-backs come by, and once again, end of Stevens' fourth goal of the season. He's playing right wing-back. He's a left wing back. And he's still managing to pull out the goals. How has he got four this so far this season? Double the amount of Esposito. I do not know. But we don't care. Burnley nil. Sheffield United three. The game is going well, well to plan. With only three minutes remaining, there is another highlight. Hopefully we don't concede. Keeping a clean sheet will be absolutely fantastic. As Esposito set away in behind the Burnley defence. He finds McBurney in the box. Just a little bit behind him and it falls to Ben Mee. The highlight continues though. Jean-Pierre gives the ball away to Tarkovsky. Who finds Matt Loughton out right back for Burnley. Who goes for goal. And it's gone sailing over the crossbar. That was a bit of an ambitious effort. With only 15 seconds remaining. This will be the final highlight of the game. Our, <coughs> our players losing out in the midfield there. Neto takes a strike from about 50 yards. And that was the worst shot I've seen on Football Manager, genuinely. And there we are, full-time, Burnley nil, Sheffield United 3. A thoroughly professional performance. Absolutely fantastic stuff by the boys. Two wins out of two. Two clean sheets. Two 3-0 victories. I think that is probably our best episode so far. So after that result, we rise to fifth in the, fifth in the Premier League table. I never thought this would even be close to possible 13 games in i don't think it will continue i don't think we'll be fighting for european football when we get to the business end of the season but the fact that we're even here only losing two games only there's only four teams who've lost less than we have this season uh plus 12 goal difference is great 23 points just absolutely brilliant stuff Looking forward to the next episode, it will be the Leeds and Manchester City games. Really testing ourselves against Manchester City at home. And Leeds are newly promoted and currently sitting bottom of the league. But anyway, if you have enjoyed today's video, please consider leaving a like. And if you are enjoying my content, get yourself subscribed. But until next time, take it easy.